Hey guys, today I've got a Kenmore washer and electric dryer set and right now I've got this guy going. Pretty heavy jeans, towel load, just got a few items in there that we're going to let fill all the way up, uh, agitate, run through the different cycles here. I just have it on a normal setting with a medium soil level and uh, I have taken the little lid lock part off two screws and you can pop it right there I do that just for testing purposes otherwise this would be locked and you wouldn't be able to open the lid up for safety it's a great safety feature uh, but this way I can show you that it's running through agitating and drains the water out and has a nice fast smooth final spin cycle kind of as if you were standing here yourself testing it out that's why I do these videos that way you know when you get it home plug it in it's good to go everything works as it should so we'll let it move through we'll come back for the washing and uh, Get the rest of that cycle on here as well all right we switched over to the wash cycle and it's still adding a little bit of water here and there but we've got full submersion on the clothes the agitator is doing its job getting everything nice and clean and it's going to just repeat that cycle there until we move over into the rinse okay moving into the rinse cycle actually we just completed the rinse cycle it's draining the water out now. You can hear it drain hose there, draining nice and fast. And so we're gonna move into that final spin. Which is coming up in just a few minutes. Okay, we're at about top speed here on the spin cycle. And like I said, typically this would be locked. You wouldn't be able to open it up. Excellent safety feature, but in order to show it off, I took those two screws out and bypassed that lid lock switch. But you can see and hear, sounds great. Nice smooth operation, spinning super fast. We'll let it finish up and it'll be good to go. Then I'm gonna move over to the dryer and show you that the dryer is working properly. All right guys, now we've got the electric dryer. It's actually a different brand name. However, towards the end of Kenmore, Whirlpool was making a lot of their stuff. So uh, both of these machines are built by Whirlpool, though they have a different name stamped on it. They're going to look matching, sitting side by side. Uh, but anyway, this is the electric dryer. I've got it running right now on time dry high heat. And uh, you've got your lint trap up here. It's in excellent condition. And I'm going to show you that it is, in fact, heating like it's supposed to. So right in between these two red dots, this is a... Um, surface temperature measurement device and so basically it shoots out and captures the uh, the degrees there so it's about uh, 86 degrees on top of the dryer it's about 75 degrees on the ground there so we're going to open this up and i'm going to shoot it right inside the heating element tube so it's super hot inside this tube and then that heat rolls out to the inside of your dryer heats it up anywhere from about 95 to 195 just depends on what you have that heat setting at and then the air goes and cycles through here out and then through the back of the machine that's how that works uh, anyway so that's going to be uh, essentially it on this electric dryer so now you know they both work great you get a home plug it in you'll be good to go if you have any questions feel free to reach out i do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video thanks you guys have a great day